Last week, we named and defined the seven elements of art. Think of the elements of art as the building blocks to whatever art you want to create. Rarely does an art project have only one of the elements present. However, one element can be featured in an artwork. So while we may be using all of the elements of art this week, we want line to be the featured element of our artwork. This week, we are going to focus on a specific type of line called a contour line. Contour lines are lines that surround and define the edges of a subject, giving it shape and volume. When you draw lines curving around the surface or contour of an object, you give that object volume. You make that object appear to be three-dimensional. This week, we will be defining and demonstrating contour lines. I will practice drawing contour lines with videos on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I will choose one of these drawings to color and turn in for a daily grade. I will create an original drawing of an animal and define at least four different areas of the animal's form using contour lines. I will create and color an original pattern covering the background of the drawing. Here is an example of a student created project following the must haves for this assignment. Our project must haves are number one, an animal drawing, number two, contour lines showing at least four different surfaces or bends in the animal's body. Number three, colorful patterned background. Number four, good craftsmanship. Student choices, type of animal and art medium. Don't be too intimidated by these pictures. We will take this step by step. And remember that it's always acceptable to use a how to draw video or a picture for reference when you're working on a more complicated piece of original art, but we do want to make sure our art is original, meaning that you are actually doing the work. I have had students in the past try to take a picture copied straight from the internet and turn it in, and I want you to know that I do check those things, and if I find a picture that you're turning in as your work, on the internet as someone else's work, you will receive a failing grade for that assignment. Take a breath, we'll take this step by step. 